Congratulations uh, continue to be in order for yes. one George McPhee, uh, fresh off the Vegas Golden Knights and their Stanley Cup victory. Congratulations again. Thank you. Uh, roughly how much sleep do you think you've gotten <laughs> since uh, we saw Mark Stone and everybody else lifting that cup high in the sky? It's been better lately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the first four or five days were pretty wild. As they should be, yeah. as they should Absolutely. be. Yeah, you know, George, you know, we talked a little bit on the on the ice that night afterwards. You've had a little time now to have it sink in, but you played, you're a great college player. You played in the NHL. You've been in management for a long time. It's a lifetime, the trades and now here you are, a Stanley Cup champion. Has it sunk in yet that your name is going to be on Nashville that Stanley Cup? Trades, um, this pick it, you know, it seems to catch you every day. Because you get up thinking Tampa about the draft and everything else, and then you sit back and go, Chicago's we won the Stanley Cup a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and even after our parade, uh, one of the cup keepers uh, said, uh, players have this from 1 to 5 Tampa tomorrow. Bay, I can bring it over to your house for dinner if you want. And he did. And I'm driving down the street, and they're in the driveway washing the beer off it before they bring it into our house. Said, There's the Stanley Cup. Yeah. And uh, my family was all there, and uh, I just ordered a bunch Go of pizzas, ahead, and we're looking at all the names Tampa on the trophy and everything else, and the, the, the teams Jason I used to Shaw. like when I was a kid and Tampa used to follow. And then I had sort of a moment where I had to walk away and go outside. And because uh, it was just, Next it got emotional. It, the family Seattle. didn't know about it. I just went outside and then came back in because you're thinking about your parents and your brothers and all your buddies. It's an emotional thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad yeah. you got to take that moment to yourself sometimes yeah. to just really actually take it in and, and ahead, recognize Seattle. exactly, you know, what you've accomplished and Seattle what it took to select. get there. When you, you, don't, you, you almost, you almost don't get a Andre chance to take it, it, it hits you. Seattle yeah. like, I need to go for a walk here so nobody sees what I'm about to do here. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, because when it when the when the wind becomes official on the ice, right? It's like immediately there's there's so much happening and it's like sensory overload, I'm sure, for exactly. the entire organization. Yeah. And then all of the celebrations that follow and eventually you get that moment which you, it sounds like you yeah, had at home a good one. where you go, "Oh, wow. <laughs> this is really feeling real now." Yeah. When you look back on the journey to get to that moment, you know, what do you what was the most rewarding part of the journey to the top of that mountain in the last year or so or from year one I, I guess would it say, doesn't matter I guess so however you want to answer yeah. it yeah um f for me it's it's uh sort of the uplift that you that you, you give to the community and uh, as I said before I wish we had done it in the first year because Las Vegas needed it yeah. that year yeah um but we we kept putting good teams on the ice and then to see uh, the way that Las Vegas has responded uh, has been amazing. Go ahead. And we are Vegas born. Go We're ahead. not a Detroit. team that relocated or anything like Detroit that. Yeah. And I remember Academy. when we first went to Larry Vegas, Keenan. there was a lot of civic pride Detroit that this is our first Keenan. professional Colton team. Yeah. And then we ended up putting good teams on the ice, and the support Next was incredible. And uh, yeah, I guess, you know, when we turned the corner at that parade, because I wasn't sure what it was going to be like turned the corner and there were hundreds of thousands of people on the street wow. said, holy smokes yeah. this is amazing this is a moment yeah it was amazing to watch uh, just yeah. on television and being there i commented to jackie a couple times i mean the building is state of the art the whole thing right from the top all the way Go down ahead, you guys Los have done Angeles. an unbelievable job and so obviously Moro, the product on the school, ice is great Hampton, i want to ask you just because we've talked about like again you've, you have all these different so connections Hampton, in hockey Hampton, your whole Hampton, life you probably got a million Moro, texts school, and calls Minnesota. from people's congrats oh, yeah. one or two Next that stood out for you that you were like wow that's really cool well it, I, I think it's uh you just hear from so many people um a lot that you haven't talked to in years yeah. and they somehow find you yeah and it's uh every day is kind of a new adventure it's uh -huh. like holy smokes this is a kid that lived uh behind us uh, a block away yeah that uh, i haven't talked Vancouver to in 30 years yeah. you know and so um Vancouver it is amazing how nice Matthew everybody's Perkins. been yeah. Yeah. yeah you hope it lasts more than a couple of weeks but yeah. uh Next order it's of uh, to it's just an incredible journey that's really really hard to explain. Yeah. Um, but it's it's nice to sort of be in the club. Yeah. Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're running out of time with you, but I do want to ask you really quickly just about uh, locking up Ivan Barbashev. This yeah. happened yesterday uh, before the first round got underway. Uh, watching Barbie uh, during that run through the playoffs and then in, in the Cup final. <laughs> When were you like, all right, we got to figure out a way to keep this guy around in <laughs> Vegas for a little longer? 
Yeah, well, Go we ahead, we up. were talking to Aiden Hill for a while and to Barbie Alex trying to get it done. Um, Philadelphia I'm not sure Chernick what we could do because um, the limitations. You know, yeah, yeah, Next and uh, 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 we're delighted uh, that uh, you know looks like we're there on Aiden and Barbie's done. Um, you know, unfortunately, it cost us a uh, Riley Smith, who was yeah. uh, just a heck of a hockey player, an outstanding human being. Unfortunately, the salaries are going up and the cap isn't. Yeah. And you have to make really tough decisions. We never thought we'd have to do that uh, with Riley, which is a shame. Uh, we're going to miss him. But, uh, you know, the organization comes first. The individual comes a close second. We've said that a number of times. Yeah. And you just have to make the hard decisions and yeah. keep going. And you've proven to be an organization that can make those hard decisions uh, for the better in the long run yeah. uh, for the team and for Riley Smith. Hey. Reach the mountaintop with That's you guys right, as sure an original did. six Always misfit. So he goes out yeah. uh, on a high note. Uh, Cup exactly. Right. George, yeah. thank you so much for the Go time. Ahead. We yeah. really thank appreciate you it. Congratulations. Congrats. Congrats. Enjoy your summer. You have earned yeah. it. Yeah, it starts next week. <laughs> <laughs> Countdown's on.